I feel like mixing things up today. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about mixing 3D printers. Now, when I say mixing 3D printers, really mixing hot ends. So what you have in this type of printer is a single hot end with one nozzle, yet it has two extruders which feeds two different either color or types of filament into that hot end and creates one product with it. Now, one of the pieces, I've seen a few YouTubers kind of trash this technology as being, you know, not a value. I don't know if I want to say worthless, but, you know, one of the things I want to say to that is poppycock. So this is one of the interesting technologies that I'm really excited about, actually, in this field, and you should be, too. So in full disclosure, if you're just getting into 3D printing, this is not for you because this is going to be a bit more complex to achieve results on and this should be your second or third printer. However, if you're really into 3D printing and you're into creating interesting quality parts, this is something you need to have in your stable of 3D printers. Said and done. Why do I say that? Well, one of the pieces that I've done with this is I, I did an entire series on mixing filaments, TPU, PETG, yada, yada, yada. Came up with some interesting results. I had like 500 views on that. Crazy! I thought people would be extremely interested in being able to mix different types of filaments together to get different results. Now, you know, if you watch the different combinations, and I'll put a playlist up here in the corner, so if you want to go check those out, you can. You know, there were a couple obviously good combinations. You know, some of the surprising ones were PLA and PEG. But one of the things I've been doing is mixing a lot of nylon. You can't see it, but there's a spool of nylon behind this. And typically what I do is I run nylon with PETG, and I get really good results. So the nylon is, is very durable, yet it's very flexible, and it's very particular. Mixing it in a 50-50 mix with the PETG produces some very interesting results. Uh, but I'm really not here to talk about that today. What I want to talk about is actually this over here. So what, I, what I'm doing is printing a 3D relief map and I want to use different colors to yield different results. Now sure again I could, I've got the Zone Star over there which is a two extruder um, printer. I could do probably similar on it but the, the issue you run into a lot of times is really tuning that dual extruder printer uh, that both hot ends are in perfect alignment where one stops, the other one picks up. The slightest shift in something like this, you're going to notice it. I really don't have to worry about it in this case because, number one, I don't need a hugely precise start and stop point for my colors because, I mean, it's not like, you know, you're going to see, you know, clear here, magenta here. You know, I want different, you know, ditherings to terrain level to come out this way. So I can set it up based upon layers to create that result. And as you can see, it's coming out pretty neat. Now, it is a little bit, um, I don't want to say difficult to tune, but it does take a bit more effort to tune than obviously doing it with one color. But there are a lot of tools out there, and I'll go into that in future episodes about how I actually did this in an episode on its own. But again, this one, I really want to share with you guys the value of this printer. I think a lot of people have been overlooking these mixing uh, printers. I mean, this guy was super affordable. Uh, and, and again, the stuff I can do with it is really sort of crazy in the bigger scheme of things. So anyways, I just wanted to do a short video to share this with you, to share you know, some of the uses of this printer. And, and if you're thinking about one or you haven't thought about one, you should think about one. If you're really into 3D printing and you want to do some interesting things, I think this is the printer you need to have to do those interesting things. So anyways, hit me up in the comments below. What do you do that's interesting with your mixing printer? What do you think or what would you like to see me do with my mixing printer? Again, I've already done the playlist, again, be up there. Uh, for all the different materials, so I'm looking for other interesting things. This one is really interesting to me, um, and you'll see in other videos dedicated to this why it's so interesting to me, so I'm not going to get into it here. But anyways, what? You're not a subscriber? Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Put out regular content. I already mentioned I've got tons of playlists. Be sure to check those out. 
bell buttons over there to remind you to go down there, hit that bell button so you're notified when I do put out new content. Swag shop's up in the corner, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we do something else cool with this guy or something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.